Well, here's to us and here's to them. And here's to Christmas. We'll drink again. And here's to everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Awesome. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The tidings we bring to you and you. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now bring us... Tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. For we all like figgy pudding. We all like figgy pudding. We all like figgy pudding. So bring it out here. The tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yay. Merry Christmas, Toastmasters, Merry Christmas. Professional Merry Edge. Christmas. Merry Christmas, all. We love you all. Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your team. We wish, wish you a Merry Christmas, Christmas and a Happy, happy New, New Year. year. We all like to enjoy the pudding. 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 That, okay, po hold on. That in itself is, is worthy. The, the record album will be out in two weeks, everyone. <laughs> oh, I will edit, and I, I'm going to get on this right away. So you guys, that is fantastic. Yeah, right. I know. Somebody better get on it. This, <laughs> this, 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 even Foster. This, this should go. This has got to go on the website. Oh, dear Man. God. We'll scare, people, we'll scare our membership away. Yeah, uh, by, by anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I, I tell, I don't know if it's so much a story, but a, a tradition back where I, my parents are from in Newfoundland, and I'm not sure if many of you know about it. It's uh, what they call mummering, and um, it's it's it originated basically where my parents grew up. They grew up in small fishing villages on the, in the coast of Newfoundland, like in the middle of nowhere, basically. <laughs> And what they would do every year, the 12 days of Christmas, they would actually all get dressed up. So it's a picture I got in Newfoundland. Anyway, the, what they do is they dress up in just random clothing, put, um, you know, they grab instruments and then they visit their friends. And what the host has to do, and it's random, you could, you could end up, people just show up on your doorstep, you have to let them in during the 12 days of Christmas. And they're all dressed up and they play music and they're all drinking that's screech. yeah screech any kind of alcohol and anyway so when i i'm from cape breton as everybody knows and uh it's funny because it, the tradition no one knows about it only except people in newfoundland and we had newfoundlanders people from newfoundland live across the street and they used to come over during christmas dressed up and we used to have to play you know we played the, the mummering song actually on youtube Oh. And uh, 
you know, you'd dance around and you'd be drinking. I grew up in Ontario and we always had a white Christmas. I, I don't think when I was a I kid, love I it. ever remember a Christmas we didn't have snow. And we sometimes we had lots of it. And uh, so one year when I think I was about uh, seven years old, and you know, we didn't get much for Christmas in those days. So you, you know, whatever you wish for, oh, you, you know, you, you really wanted that one thing, you know, there was that one thing you just had to have it. And this year, speaking of snow, at that when I was seven, I wanted this toboggan. You know, when I was growing up, everybody had sleds, and then these toboggans came out, and they were tall, and they were wood, and you could wax them, and you know, they would go fast. <laughs> Man, I wanted one of those things so bad. A couple of my friends had them, and you know, so that's all I wanted. You know, so Christmas morning, I wake up and I run out and I look under the tree and I'm around the tree. Like toboggan's not going to fit under the tree, but I'm looking and I thought, you know. Santa didn't bring my toboggan. Like, I couldn't believe it. Mm. And I was just devastated, you know, and I had, you know, I got to open the package, you know, with oh. Aunt Elsie's pajamas, you know, with the feet on the bottom of them and stuff like that, that you didn't want. And uh, I was pretty sad and forlorn. And uh, I remember my mother saying, you know, hey, there's something by the, the back door there. I don't know what that is. And I went, what? And I went running out the back door of the house and on the back porch, there was this toboggan standing there with a big bow on it you know Aww. i was like wow you know Aww. and my mother had that johnson wax it was like a paste wax everybody waxed her floors in those days yeah so i had to wax yeah. out and i waxed that thing and i got it all up and i ran down after breakfast we ran down my brother and i went down to our toboggan hill and i'm ready to go man and there was two girls there that i really liked i had a crush on both of them like i'm seven years old right? <laughs> there was becky and mary jane highfield and Man, you know, I was going to show off at these girls. So we did a couple of runs and I said to my brother, watch this and I'm going to be Mr. Cool. I'm going to stand on the toboggan and go down the hill. Oh, there I go. And the, the thing goes, well, I must have put too much wax on that thing, man, because it started going and it went out of control. I end up hitting a tree and uh, the toboggan is made out of wood and the tree is a harder wood. So the toboggan yeah. got broke. No. The tree didn't move. And I ended up with two smashed in teeth in the front of my mouth. And I had to eat my Christmas dinner that year, like almost through a straw. Um, uh, we we didn't have a toboggan, but we did have um, cardboard boxes, and we oh, would take yeah. cardboard boxes and go down Oxford Hill and, in White Rock. Oh, so we wow. would sit in the box and go right down. And back then, the <laughs> Marine Drive was almost um, parallel with the tracks and we would come right down and skim almost up to the almost up to the tracks wow death defying uh, so my dad I, I try to find the good the, the good things in my childhood and this is one that i never forget so my dad uh, was in the army and you know he used to enjoy his, his his booze a little bit every christmas our house was we lived in sunshine hills and we, we our house was on the corner of line road and uh sussex my dad would go up on the roof and have this big uh, figurine of Santa with a big spotlight. Of course, he was an electrician, so every the house was lit up. Like, literally nobody could sleep because <clears> there were <throat> so many lights on our house. Mm -hmm. And my dad would go up in the crawl space, and he would take bells, and he would find climb above the room of me and my brother. We shared a room. And he would shake these bells, and Ron knew my mm -hmm. dad, so he, had a, he was gregarious, had this big ho-ho-ho laugh. And he would do that, so we would think Santa was here. He would go up in the garden with his good boots on and leave footprints in the snow. I mean, he just went all out and it was so amazing. And then how I burst my bubble? Well, you know, we used to poke around and try to find things in my parents' room. So I remember opening his night locker on the right hand side and there were all the letters I had sent that Santa opened. Of course, my dad was never one for details, putting them in the safe place. But I still, I still believe when my granddaughter and my own daughter is coming home for Christmas, who I haven't seen for two years, man, I still believe in Santa. I say that people think you're crazy, but it brings joy and happiness. So. so, group, you wonderful Christmas folks, who do we feel is the best dressed here today? <laughs> or Lord Hunter and Jesus is a boy from the rock is at Lauren Farty. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I think we got a winner here. It's Lauren Farty is the, right. uh, the winner. Yeah, by. Right. Hey Ron, is that really your is that really your house? Or is yeah, that a just say uh, yeah. Say yes. <laughs> yeah, just say yes. <laughs>
Yes. <laughs> yeah. You spoiled it. 